Hi boys and girls and welcome to Rosalie and Friends and we're so glad you're here today. Yeah and I have an announcement. An announcement? Yes I do. And what is your announcement? I got a new job. Oh you do. I didn't know that. When do you start? Well I hope to start tomorrow. And uh, who hired you? Oh it's my own business. You started your own business? Yes I did. Look at the poster. Oh, can I read it? Yeah, I'm putting them up this afternoon. Okay, let's see. Are you looking for a reliable person to walk your basset hound, German Shepherd, Golden Retriever, Poodle, Beagle, Husky, Boxer, Golden Lab, Chocolate Lab, Golden Doodle, Lock, or any other dog? Contact Rosalie to book your dog for a weekly exercise routine. Well, that is really nice, Rosalie. Yeah, I'm gonna be rolling in the dough. Rolling in the dough? Yeah, making all kinds of money before school starts. Well, school starts in a few weeks. You're gonna be busy. I sure am. And uh, you're gonna be walking your neighbor's dog, you were telling me? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Oh, I see. I thought you and JJ were going to the beach tomorrow. Oh, we are. But I'll work it into my schedule. And I think you're in some other things. Don't you have other things going on during the week? Oh, yeah. I go swimming on Monday and Wednesday. And then Tuesday and Thursdays, the girls and I go for bike rides. And then on Saturday, I usually help with the paper room. And Friday, well, Friday, sometimes I go help a lady with her garden. Oh, so that just leaves Sunday. And I go to church on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Sounds like you're already pretty busy. Yeah, but I can find some time to walk dogs. There's 24 hours in a day, you know. Yeah, there is. But aren't you going most of the day to the beach? Well, maybe I can walk the dog at night before I go to bed. Well, I think you need to work with other people's schedules, too. If you are starting a business, you need to be dependable and reliable and whatever you do, you should do it to the best of your ability. Well, I'll try as long as I can work it into my schedule. Well, Rosalie, you are starting a job. Wouldn't that be part of your priority to do those things first? Well, we'll see. Well, you know what? This kind of reminds me of our verse today. It does? Yeah. 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Even walking dogs? Yes. So what does it mean to do to the glory of God? What does it mean? Well, it basically means that we need to put effort in it, do the best we can with the best attitude to please God. Oh, so others can tell us what a good job we've done. No, so others can give glory to God or praise to God. We don't do things in order for people to praise us, or we shouldn't. We should do things so that God would be glorified. That's our purpose, is to glorify God in everything we do. Oh, well, maybe I gotta, I know. What? Maybe I'll say on certain hours of the day I can take dogs for a walk. Well, that sounds like a good idea. And then maybe you could put your full effort into it. Oh, I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. So, now are you still going to start tomorrow? Well, I'll talk to my neighbor first. Okay. Well, I think it's a good idea to start your own business. Yeah, it is. Can I sing the song now? Yes, you can. And I know you know this song because I heard you singing earlier. Yeah, I know it really well. So how about you try singing on tune? Oh, I've been practicing. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So whether you eat or drink or whatever
Rosalie. Good job. Well, who's coming on Friday? Ah, uh, Chef Chowder. That's right, he's gonna be here on Friday. And we also, after this, we have an experiment. Dancing rice. Yeah, I tried it. Yes, dancing rice. So stay tuned. Yes. Well, boys and girls, thank you for listening. Bye, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to our experiment time. And today we're doing dancing rice. And so the things you're going to need to do this experiment are baking soda and instant rice, brown or white, and some vinegar. You're going to need three quarters cup of water and you're going to need a little bit of food coloring, whatever color you want. Okay, so we are going to take a tablespoon of baking soda and we're going to drop it into our cup and then we're going to mix it thoroughly. So it's all mixed up. There we go. And after we do that, we're going to drop in about a quarter cup of our instant rice. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar and a couple drops of food coloring. The food coloring just helps you see it. So as you can see, what's happening inside our cup is the rice is going up and down. It's dancing. Just how noticeable that is. We can see it very clearly, actually. And this reminds us that when we do things for God, like our memory verse says, whatever we do, we're to do it for the glory of God. The Bible tells us that when we do that, others will notice a difference. In fact, not only will they notice a difference, they'll notice how well we do our job and we'll do it with the right attitude because we're seeking to please God and not men. We're doing it to the best of our ability. And so I hope, boys and girls, that this experiment will remind you that whenever you're given a job to do or something to, whatever it might be, maybe it's a chore, maybe it's cleaning your room, whatever it is, we're to do to the best of our ability and with the right attitude because we want to please God. And when we do, others will notice how well we've done the job and they'll give glory to God. Hope you enjoy the experiment. Have fun.